Hello, hello. Welcome again to the CAE Create 12 Challenge, where each week we'll be covering an element or principle of art. Today, we'll be covering contrast, a principle of art. Contrast can be defined as the arrangement of opposite art elements to create drama, visual interest, and excitement. Let's get started with the project, shall we? Let's get started. Now, before we do, I would like to go over uh, just a little bit more in depth about our artist for this lesson, uh, Paul Clay. I have a little book over here. Now, Clay is a German artist of the Bauhaus School of Art, and he really delved into color and shape with his artwork. Now, my favorite work by him is The Golden Fish which I will be displaying over here. And that's a great example of warm, cold contrast. I would also like to show you um, the message of autumn, which has a really great example of warm and cold contrast. So here we have this bright yellow tree that stands out from this cool teal background. So that's an example of warm, cold contrast. Here's an example of light, dark contrast. So you can see the, these colorful fish here popping out from a dark background. Now the name of this artwork is Fish Magic. It's one of my favorites, including Golden Fish. In this exercise, we'll be using both warm and cold contrast, as well as light and dark contrast. We are going to do this by using a crown etching technique. Now you may have done this previously before, um, but in this project today, we're going to use very specific colors. So. I'm going to have a bright yellow or orange, which I'm going to put in the center of my artwork here. And on the outer edges, I want either a dark blue or purple to contrast with the warm center. Now, just like in The Golden Fish, um, Paul Clay uses these bright, uh, sunny colors and so the fish just pops out from the dark background. And we want to achieve a, a similar effect in our artwork today. So for the center, um, I'm going to be doing a mix of yellow and orange. I'm just gonna have an oval shape. Now in your project, you may choose to just do a half page like I'm doing here because it's going to be a lot of um, it's going to be a lot of, of work for our hands. So just keep that in mind. Now with each one of these steps, be sure to press really hard uh, with your crown so that it shows up. It has kind of like a shiny waxy um, look to it. And this will be really important as we go throughout our project. All right, I'm going to time lapse this and I'll see you in a second. We have a completely covered um, artwork. It is very black. 
Now what I'm going to do is I am going to get a sharp object, such as um, a paper clip here. I'm going to try to bend it out just a little bit so I can use this tip to scratch away the top layer of black to reveal um, the colors beneath it. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to achieve that glowing effect that Paul Clay had with the golden fish. So my object of choice is this light bulb here. Um, in your own artwork, you can think of something that is bright or illuminating, um, such as a light bulb or a lamp. And then you can draw that. It's also helpful to have something from life as a reference. So I'm going to put my light bulb over here and I'm going to draw him in the center where I know that that yellow, that very bright yellow will pop. All right. So I'm getting my trusty paper clip here and I'm going to scratch away the black. See, and all you can see, you can already see that line kind of glowing. I'm going to draw the little rim of the light bulb here. This is where, if you've participated in our line project, this is where it gets, you know, we kind of overlap in some of um, our projects here. I'm just going to do a nice outline of a line, kind of do the contour of my light bulb here. And as you can see already, it is coming forward so much from that black background. It has a lot of contrast. You can also scratch away at multiple places to kind of get shapes instead of just lines. Kind of getting the highlights here on my light bulb. And I kind of went into the blue here, but that's okay. I'm going to do um, multiple light bulbs in this drawing here. Kind of using my one um, light bulb here who likes to kind of run away from me um, as a reference. And I might um, vary the size of the light bulb. I might have some that are within the blue, but I want to make sure that I'm getting that nice bright yellow from the center here. So and you can do um, whatever subject that you like. Just keep in mind that our main what we want to really show up is this center right here with the bright um, glowing yellow.
Now, along with um, our main subjects, we can also add some patterning. And, you know, we can probably use our fork here and kind of experiment with what kind of techniques that we can do. I'm hoping to kind of get some electrical patterning. Yeah. So I really like how this contrasts with the kind of the the more representational, and then we got the abstract, the patterning here, which is, as you probably seen from Paul Clay's artwork, he has both realistic um, imagery as well as patterns and abstractions. So I'm kind of going to go off that. Oh, wow. There is a lot of warm, cool contrast here. All right. So I'm going to show you an example of a previous drawing that I've done. And here we go. Here is my recreation of Paul Clay's golden fish. As you can see, we have the fish in the center here. And then around is this little plant life and patterns that Paul Clay used in his artwork. Now, you may notice something different between these two works of art. Look how reflective and polished this artwork is. So, we're gonna go on to the last step here. Now this um, last part is optional. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a piece of plastic bag, just a, a, a piece that I've torn off. It can be a Walmart bag or um, just something that is smooth. So I'm going to show you how to polish your artwork. And of course, as I said before, this is optional. What you want to do is you want to go in circles just kind of buffer or polish your artwork. And you'll notice almost right away how shiny the artwork gets, really gets that finishing touch. So just go in little circles. And here's the difference. So this, this side right here is the polish side look how reflective it has such a sheen and over here it's it's not as um shined you can kind of see the difference there so i'm going to go ahead and shine this other side as well really give it a nice shine to it So this project really kind of highlights two different types of contrasts. We have our warm, cold contrast. We got our nice yellow with our blue on the edges. And then we also have the light, dark contrast. So these light bulbs are coming forward out of the black background and kind of really illuminating the whole work. So whenever you do your project, which I forward to seeing, be sure to kind of keep in mind that illumination um, that contrast can bring. All right, well, that finishes up this project and I look forward to um, seeing your renditions.